Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And I have a special guest with me. She's been with me before. Her name is Marlene Suit. She's one of our regular subscribers. And I want you to hear what she and I discuss about y'all picking the wrong ones, the wrong times with the wrong mindset, screwed up, chewed up, spit out. And we settle for that. Because we're so desperate and in a hurry, we just want to get any man, any piece of man, any kind of man, or any woman, as long as they got the boobs and everything, all the equipment we want. Now, I'm going to let Marlene, Marlene, thank you so much for being Hello, on this with me. Hello, how are you, Ted? <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, plain and clear. Okay, great, great, great. Plain and Hi. clear. Hi. How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. Wonderful. Yeah, what's on my Thanks. heart is the, uh, is I hate to see people get into messed up relationships. Okay. And I'd like right. you to I... share about, about warning signs. That's what a lot of people don't get. What are right. the warning signs and what are the reasons for some of these problems people have? Go on. I'm going to let you take it. Well, I think that from we have two perspectives. We have a spiritual, uh, a spiritual perspective mm -hmm. and a fleshly. And unfortunately, most people today are just in the flesh, yes. and they're making choices based off of desires and based off of lust. And mm -hmm. you get in emotional uh, relationships with people, and you don't use God's standards as a right. as a staple. Right. You don't on you don't value virtuism. Right. You look at a woman and say, oh, she's beautiful. She has everything that I like and boom. And if she looks good and, and she's willing, then it's, it's there. You it's on, up. baby. And then, right. And then you try, you pray afterwards and you say, Lord, what, make it work. Mm -hmm. When it should have been just the opposite. You say, Father, you know, I want you to send me a woman of value, right. a woman of virtue. Because the, we're living in the last days. That's and right. the enemy is seeking whom he may devour. Mm. And we tend to be so lost and easily manipulated. And I believe that many, many of us are losing the battle and that that intimate relationship with the Lord because we can't, we don't know how to stop allowing our body to lead our life and right. allowing a lust and a desire to be in dysfunctional relationships. That's right. When we see when we see jealousy. And anger, that's a sign that you're going to be in an abusive relationship or an emotion, emotional abusive relationship. Listen up, so ladies. When, when a man calls you out of your name hmm. and he's calling you the B word, mm -hmm. understand it's not the first and it's not going to be the last. You have Thank to set you. the standard and say, you know what, I mean more than the B word. That's, that's not right. acceptable. You just should value. When you look at what Proverbs says about a virtuous woman, when you read what God says about a man and how he should love his wife and how if he doesn't treat his wife right, his prayers are hindered. Those things are important. That's right. But but you have to come out of the, the mindset of, I want to be like the Kardashians. I right. want to be like the, the, the real housewives of Atlanta. I want to be like the unrealistic, fairy tale, foolish, foolishness of what you believe that a true woman is supposed to mimic and how she's supposed to live. And you look at these stereotypical things and especially the younger generation with the music of the misogynistic music and the, the hatred towards women and no kind of standard of anything. It's like anything goes. That's right. And you go into a relationship with no boundaries. You don't look and say, Hey, well, you know, if she has, if she had went there on the first day, the first date with me, what's the likelihood of her doing it while she's in a relationship with me? Then you have to look at these things and say, hmm, something, something is just, and then you, you try to make right out of wrong. And you pray and ask God to move in something that you're not supposed to be in. Thank you. But you should say, hey, Lord, right now, I'm getting older. I find myself perpetually finding the wrong men. Yep. So see, men that are manipulators, they seek women and they prey on certain women. That's because right. Because they know when a woman is vulnerable, they, they, they see you a mile away. And they desperate. Just, 
and desperate. Was. And they know, and they know. So they they sniff it out. And they, right, and they sniff it out. So women that have low self-esteem, you have to understand Ooh. that the value that you have, but that understanding of your value comes from knowing the Lord. Right. When you understand the love that he has for you, mm-hmm. when you understand that the word of God is not just a bunch of rules and regulations, but these Thank are you. words to protect you from your from the, the enemy, mm-hmm. from evil. These are things that he says so that you won't go out there and give up your body to some man that just wants a booty call. And then he, he tells you when he, and whispers sweet nothings in your ear and you go dress scandalously with your breast popping out and your butt showing. And then you wonder why men don't take you seriously. Let me, they know you don't take yourself seriously. Let me interject right here, Marlene. When I was young, mm-hmm. now I've always been heavy. Okay. But here's the thing. My heaviness had me very insecure and self-conscious. Okay. Now, I'm running around here trying to get men's attention because I was already <clears throat> feeling unattractive. Do you hear what I'm saying? Okay. So feeling heavy, unattractive, and undesirable, I'm steadily going overboard to make guys look at me and want me. I didn't mm-hmm. care how they wanted me. I just wanted them to want me. Okay. So what I did was, I see you see me fiddling with this blazer. When I, I would wear my blazer or blouse or whatever with the cleavage. Now, forget the black. Act like that's not there. <laughs> the cleavage way down here where the bra's almost showing. I mean, it was ridiculous. And I figured if they didn't want me, they'd want the boobs. And I was okay with that. That is a person who feels so invaluable, who feels so worthless. And and you don't realize self-hatred will Mm -hmm. lead you to draw in the wrong kind of relationships because you already have no self-esteem. Forget low self-esteem. You have no self-esteem. And when you Mm -hmm. feel worthless, you will let any old slimy piece of something or piece of nothing climb all over you because all you're looking for is validation. You're so desperate for it. And And when you're looking for that, you settle for these men that you know ain't about nothing. And some of you women, see now, I had low self-esteem, but let me tell you this. Wasn't no man going to be slapping and punching on me. So (laughs) um, I'll tell you that. And one guy tried it, and that was the last day he ever saw me. I don't play that, oh, I forgive you. You didn't mean it. It's I wasn't that low, and I had enough self-esteem to say, "Uh uh-uh. Ain't no man Mm. putting their hand on me. They will go to jail. I will press charges and won't look back. So and you women know, need to stop know, being so won't, desperate. Okay? Right, exactly. Stop being so desperate. You women that are being slapped around, you never report it. You never go into the police department and file complaints. What are you afraid of losing? You ain't got nothing anyway to start with. Go on, Mar- Marlene, before I get to right. fussing. And <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yes. Yeah. And, you know, it's the fact that we don't, um, you have to, women have to say, ask the Lord to give them the understanding of who they are. Right. When you understand who you are in Christ, you don't need to show your booty. You don't need to wear low cut tight. That's right. You don't, you're not going to allow no man to say, hey, B, I, C, C, whatever. You, do, 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 do. You're not going to allow that kind of behavior. That's because right. You're going to read the word. When you get in an intimate relationship with the Lord, the Lord is going to tell you the standard of man and the quality, and that's the key, the quality of man. Because right. when you value yourself and you have a self feelings of self-worth, then your mentality changes and your standard of man should change and your right. way of thinking will change. And you will see these things as inadequate and inappropriate. Right. And you look at the value is because see this is because see if you get don't listen to friends. 
because spring will give you the most toe up because a lot of times everybody doesn't celebrate with you and people tend to be sometimes jealous of you. Hello. So you, can't, you can't go to your friends. You got to go to the source and that's Jesus. Right. That's your source. Don't tell because the friends don't have wisdom. It's very hard to find. You may find a few of them, but they're very difficult to have. Few and far a between. biblical principle of, of wisdom and what the standards of of the Lord's are. And right. and to tell you, say, hey, this guy is not about anything. If he's lying, if he's saying, texting you instead of communicating with you, if he's telling you, hey, come over Saturday at 3 o'clock in the morning and you're doing it and it's booty call and then you wonder why he's not taking you seriously. And like, right. Why? That's because he's simply not interested. And, and, and let me add man. this real quick. Let me add this real quick. Sometimes, do you remember when we were kids, when we mm -hmm. were teenagers, and we started mm -hmm. dating, and our parents would tell us, and I'm telling you ladies, if a man is not willing to pull up in the car, get out Absolutely. of the car, come and to yep. the door, ring the doorbell, stand there, and wait for you to come out and introduce himself to your parents, cut yep. it loose. That is a booty call, like Marlene said. You're going to be getting up in the middle of the night, tipping over that boy's house at three mm -hmm. in the morning, popping your legs open, and then you got to yeah. find your way home because mm -hmm. he's too tacky to even drive you home I, or catch you a cat. You know what? It ain't it, it ain't about nothing. You're not that desperate. And now, I'm, right. I'm a Christian. You know I'm a Christian. You know I'm a minister. But I'm saying this in street terms for you ladies that are so desperate you got to have something poking your legs every time you turn around. If you got somebody like that, you might as well go down to the to the adult store, buy yourself a dildo, and have you have at it. It won't cost you as much. It won't be so emotionally distressing. And I'm not telling you ladies to do it. But I'm saying if you are that doggone desperate, cut that sucker loose. Cut all of them loose. If you gots to have some, buy one and call it a day. If you're that right. desperate. But I'm telling you, God can put that little uh, surge to rest. He can put that desire to sleep until the right one comes with put a fit. How, how do they say? Put a, how does that song go? Uh, all the single <laughs> ladies. All the single ladies. You remember what yeah, she said? Put a ring yeah, on it. Yeah. Put a ring on it. Right, yeah. Right. If, he, if you ain't worth a ring, baby... You ain't worth it's an engagement. Easy. He easy. ain't worth your tail. Yeah, yeah. And and that's what it is. It's the fact that women are so afraid of being alone. Yes. It's okay. It's okay to be by yourself. You will live. In fact, you will learn to love yourself and value peace. Thank you. You will look at yourself and you'll, you'll think to yourself and you'll say, hey, the Lord will say, you know what? I love you. That's right. And you'll say, you know what? I feel this. I love this peace. And then right. you'll get a feeling of joy. Right. And that's that stillness sometimes that you need yes. to hear from the Lord. Because you are all the way in. A lot of times, the majority of people are in foolishness. That's They're right. arguing, fighting, in emotion, crying. Oh, Lord, I don't know if I'm going to make it. No, because you are chasing the clown. He's a knucklehead. Right. Put that down and look at the Lord. Look to the Lord because this this man that you're dealing with nine times out of ten something is wrong with him and he's broken mm -hmm. and because brokenness recognize brokenness that's why those men recognize weak women mm -hmm. they prey on that they prey on the women that that easy prey that's, uh, that's right easy to get in bed and I hate to put it and be so crass but it needs to be spoken about exactly men, when you give when you make men work for what they they want make them take you out make them Thank you. Spend some door, money on you, baby. And do the things that a gentleman is supposed to do Thank to be you. worthy of you. Conversate with him. Don't t allow text to be enough to say, oh, we going out. No. If he can't call you and communicate with you and say, hey, how are you? I love you. Or, how are you doing? I'm enjoying your company. You know, I was just thinking about you and blah, blah, blah. These are the things that you just throw away and just want to jump and say, oh, because he wants me, come on over, girl. What you doing? Come on over. Which and that's that's what they're doing today. And it, they're, they're not only doing that. They're not only doing that. 
they're spending the money to come over and see a man who ain't putting yeah. out a dime. Yeah. They're spending the yeah. money on the man when the man needs yeah. his car fixed or the man needs a, a pair of shoes. Then the woman wants to prove what a good woman they are. And they're giving right. up the bootay. They're giving mm -hmm. up the boobs. They're giving up the money. I mean, it just gets ridiculous. They're getting nothing in return but a you-know-what, a pot full of sperm. And, uh, and, and then on top of all that, the emotion that comes behind that. That's sad. Because women are, men are driven by lust. Right. And they like, they just like the, the, the chase and, and that. And women get Very emotionally visual. tied when they get their body. That's right. So a lot of times it's hard for women to, to shed the emotion off when, he, when she sleeps with a man. That's why you shouldn't fornicate. That's why the That's Lord right. says don't do it. That's and if right. you are going to have happiness and if you're going to have joy, and a lot of times your mother wasn't there to tell you, I love you, I love you, you're, right. you're a book. Or you didn't have so a daddy. Or you didn't have a dad, right. right. You didn't have parents to tell you these things, mm -hmm. so you're just feeling your way through and you're confused and there's no... No, no kind of understanding at that's all right. about life. And that's, that's right. what it is. The understanding is the, birth, the word of God. Mm -hmm. It's not being uh, valued and it's being thrown away. Right. So you go putting everything out on the table because right now the music says, give it to me and I don't want no relationship and I don't want to work for nothing. That's right. And that's what the music says and that's what the men do and that's how they approach women. Marlene. Marlene, one mm -hmm. time I was at a particular youth prison. Check this uh -huh. out. I asked the women, I mean, you hit on a real, a real sharp male that time. I asked the women, how many of you would be willing to sell your body for your boyfriend? I can't tell you the ones that stood up with pride. And wow. I looked at them, I said, sit down. I didn't tell you to get up. Sit down. I said, now nah, I need to come over there and whoop some behind. Because you got to value yourself more than that. And that's what it is. We, we're not the, the, the parents and even the churches. They're not ministering to the, the hearts and the importance right. of the, the value the value system of the Lord. Right. And the, and, and the kids go and they listen to this crazy music and they believe that they live what they hear. Yeah. So men have emotionally detached themselves from women and yeah. they believe that women are just a piece of, you know. A, a piece of meat. That's what they right. are. And because and sin will abound, the love of many will and wax that's what cold. You have. you have so much. I just look at people and I just watch their demeanor. I see the hurt. I see right. the the pain. And, and it's like, really, you don't think, and I, and I just ponder to myself that you, the Lord loves you. You don't need no man to, to be being on you, no man to be with any man. When you settle for these things, verbal abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, right. these things are not of the Lord. In right. marriages, if you are settling for these things and you are doing, they're not of the Lord. No, they're not. Get on your knees and ask the Lord. You're going to have to step away and say, Lord, help me to work this out. Because he may say, this is not for you. That's the right. the majority of the time, the marriages that you're in, you didn't seek the Lord before you did it anyway. Thank you. So you've gotten yourself in something that's not of the Lord to begin with. Thank you. And then you you'll want to make uh, right out of wrong. And right. it's very difficult. Trying to make chocolate so, pudding out of doo-doo. Right. You, and that's hard. It's hey. really hard. So you have a whole bunch of just so much. And that's why it's just, it's just mad. It's like you don't see people holding hands. Mm -mm. You don't see chivalry anymore. Mm -mm. You just see anger on, on, on people's faces. You don't feel the, the love and the... And that the men don't don't the faces used to light up when they talk about their wives or right. their girls and, and some of them have no respect for their wives. Some of the no. some of them have nothing but contempt for their right. wives. And this is the sad yep. part. Churches, this is one thing I gotta say this and we're gonna move on to the next video. Churches, I wanna get on your case. Stop 
counseling these women to stay with an abusive husband and stop counseling men to stay with an abusive wife. Those people that are abusive need to get help. The ones right. who are yeah. being abused need to get to safety because it exactly. will not get better. It will yeah. get worse until God is interjected, inner healing is ministered, and right. things start to change separately. And if they never get back together, so be it. God hates divorce, yes. But he hates people being hurt by people even more. And right. he would rather you get a divorce than stay there and take a chance of a man killing you or take a chance of a woman shooting your, your brains out. Y'all yeah, need to yeah. cut that loose. I don't care what your pastors are saying. Get your heels to clicking and let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord <laughs> split you. Hit the road, Jack. Get away yeah, from absolutely. that crap. And absolutely. don't come back till God says it's safe. If it ain't safe, stay away from it. As far as the East is from the West. And I'm going to end on that note and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay.